Welcome to the garden. Today I've got a spring garden update for you. I'll show you what's already planted, what I'm planting, and my plans for the growing season. A couple weeks ago I planted some spinach seeds which are starting to sprout. Look at that. So most of these pots actually have spinach, which I'm really excited for. Look at all these. Not only do we have spinach, but it looks like we have some volunteers. Looks like we might have some lettuce there. That could be broccoli or some sort of greens. Whoa! <laughs> Ducks are coming in off of the pond. Besides our spinach and lettuce, some other cool weather crops already planted are carrots and radishes. And I've also planted herbs like dill, parsley, and even cilantro. So I've been watering these every couple days because this time of year it's actually pretty dry. But since we're set to get more rain, I'm gonna do some more planting today. And I went to the dollar store and picked up another one of these beautiful wildflower mixes. I'm still waiting on the asparagus to sprout. and I'm trying to keep this weeded this year. And down here, we've got some daisy flowers, which are new last year. We've got some Greek oregano, which I just love and comes back every season. Here we have rhubarb just starting to sprout and a new addition, catnip. This is really cool. It's kind of like mint or sage. And this plant I grew from seed and planted outdoors in autumn. So it definitely survived our cold Minnesota winters, which is great. We'll bring some to Missy and see if she likes it. I'm just gonna grab a little sprig here for her. Where's Missy? Ooh, she doesn't like it. Oh. Oh! She got a squinty face. What do you think about that, Missy? So next to our catnip, we have a pear tree, which I grew from seed. And this we're gonna have to do some training on. It's been pruned back quite a few times. Once it was pruned all the way back to the base, so it seems to split every time it's pruned. And I may end up just taking these off and try to get one stock. Although this is a really nice hardy stem, I'd hate to lose that. Every year I've been planting more flowers into the vegetable garden for the pollinators. The bee balm was such a huge success. I planted other wildflowers like these daisies. And we even have a few volunteers. I think these are gonna be daffodils. Speaking of daffodils, <laughs> look what we have in the garden today. The first petal on our first daffodil. And it looks like there's already a little spider in there. That's cool. Just yesterday, I raked out all the dried leaves from the flower garden. That way our sprouts get a lot more sun. And here in the strawberry patch, we've got loads of strawberry greens. So hopefully we'll see some flowers soon. And towards the back, look at all of these chives. <laughs> Isn't that just amazing? These are so delicate and delicious this time of year. Now we'll head back into the vegetable garden. Oh, what a beautiful sight. <laughs> this is just my favorite place to be. So to plant these wildflower seeds, I'm gonna to try to find some empty spots here in the vegetable garden and just tease the soil apart very gently. We already have mint and chives and other flowers here, so I wanna be careful. And then we'll sprinkle these on. Some of that is just 
filler to help you spread the seeds around. Just topping them with soil, or in our case, I'm using compost. Not too much, because I want to save most of the compost for the vegetables. Now if you want, you can gather up some dried leaves and shred them on top as mulch. That can help keep them down so they don't get washed away. We can give them a nice little press here, just like this. So these will get watered in tomorrow when it rains, and they'll hopefully sprout amongst our other vegetables and herbs. This year's actually been a little rough for me. I've been dealing with some ongoing medical issues, so it's been a little slower start than normal. But I've got plenty of things planned. I've actually got some new seeds in the mail, so I'm really excited about those and a few other surprises. So I hope you stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.